So let's look at the following example that will deal with electric fields and electric potential. So a certain region of space has an electric potential given by V of X is equal to 6X squared minus 9X cubed, where V is the voltage and it depends on the X coordinate. So suppose a certain particle with a mass of 0.02 grams and electric charge of 8 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs is placed into this region of space. If the particle begins at x equals 3 meters along the x-axis, calculate its initial acceleration. So let's begin by looking at the following diagram. So this is our region of space where the voltage is given by this equation. Now, as a result of this voltage, we're going to have an electric field. And that electric field will create an electric force that will act on our particle and that will accelerate, that force will accelerate that particle. So to solve our example, we essentially want to follow the following method. So as a result of the voltage, an electric field will exist that will create an electric force on the particle. So we can use this voltage to calculate the electric field. Then we can use the electric field to calculate the electric force. And then using the electric force and the second law of motion, we can calculate the electric field. So we take our particle, we place the particle three meters away from the origin along our x-axis. We release it and the electric field will create a force that will create acceleration. So let's begin with step one. We want to calculate what the electric field is. The first step is essentially to determine the electric field equation using this voltage equation. So, in the previous lecture, we were able to show that our electric field is equal to the negative of the derivative of the voltage with respect to distance. Now, in this case, the distance is the x-axis, so that means we're taking the derivative of the voltage with respect to our x. So the electric field equation is equal to the negative partial derivative of the voltage equation with respect to x. So we replace our voltage with this entire equation. So this is equal to the negative of the partial derivative 6x squared minus 9x cubed divided by our partial with respect to our x. So this becomes 12x and this becomes negative 27x squared. And we get the following result and we still have the negative outside so we distribute the negative and we get our electric field equation is equal to 27x squared minus 12x. So if we know what the x coordinate is, we can find what the electric field is at that particular moment in space along the x axis. So in fact, we do know what the x is. The x is 3 meters. So we plug that into our equation and we get 27 multiplied by 3 squared, which is 9, minus 12 multiplied by 3, and that gives us 207 newtons per coulomb is the electric field at this particular point. Now, let's move on to step 2. In step 2, we essentially want to calculate what the acceleration is. So first we have to calculate what the electric force is and then we apply the second law of motion. So the electric field is equal to the force divided by the charge. We take this equation, rearrange it and solve for the force. The force is equal to the product of the charge and our electric field. The charge is simply 8 microcoulombs, so 8 times 10 to negative 6 coulombs. And our electric field is given by this quantity, 207 newtons per coulomb. We multiply the coulombs cancel and we're left with a force of 0.0017 newtons. So this is our net force. So we know by the second law of motion, the net force along the x-axis is equal to the mass multiplied by A. So we solve this equation for the A. We see the net force divided by the mass is equal to the A. The net force is 0.0017 newtons. The mass is 
0.02 grams divided by 1000 because we want to convert from grams to kilograms. We have 2 times 10 to the negative 5 kilograms. We divide and we get 85 meters per second squared is the acceleration of our particle that is placed into a field, an electric field, that is given by the following equation.